You're going to have to excuse the unprofessional video editing. I am not much of a YouTube creator. But I had a litter of piglets born a few days ago uh, with congenital tremors. And I've been sharing their progress on social media. And a lot of people have asked if I could share, if I could make the video shareable for learning purposes. And I don't know how to do that. So I decided I was going to try my hand at putting a video together and letting people follow their progress on YouTube. <laughs> So back in November, wow. I purchased a 100% Berkshire, um, purebred Berkshire she's, sow. She's she was pregnant, pregnant oh, about 60 easy. days yep. into her gestation, which does become relevant. Um, she, she had a litter of seven with congenital tremors, and I've been doing a lot of research. Congenital tremors seem to be something that is a virus contracted by mom that is passed on in the first 60 days of gestation and some say 45 days, but I don't know how many days. Um, and so it's definitely possible she contracted it on my property. I have had only one set of pigs before. Making a swimming pool for yourself? Um, two American guinea hog that we processed about a week before we got her. Both breeders of both um, her and the other yeah, pigs really cool. say they've never seen this before. So I don't, I'm never really going to know where she got it or, you know, time will tell if she becomes immune to it. But I've been doing research on congenital tremors and the research suggests that it runs its course, that mom will be immune and that the babies will grow out of it. So that's partly why I'm following their progress to see if that actually is true or not. So she was lonely the first night and she busted out into our pasture, scared the rest of our animals. So we got her a companion, a small gilt American guinea hog. We've had really good luck with them before and they're very gentle on the land and sweet animals. So she has a companion and a nice fancy new home. I would say her area is about 30 by 75, so plenty of space, and she couldn't be friendlier. <laughs> She's huge. We love her so much. She's so sweet. Gosh. So January 13th, she started nesting. We gave her a lot of straw and a nice warm hut, and I set up a camera so I could watch from the house. And she nested all night long. She normally sleeps all night. She is... As soon as it's dark, she's sound asleep. So I could tell lab labor was pretty imminent. She was hardcore nesting. It was pretty funny. She took all the straw and put it on one in one corner, made herself a nice little nest. <clears throat> I put a roll bar in there so that, and and you can't see it in this video yet, but there's a heat lamp over that bar in the corner where she is now. And... Just waiting for piglets. I checked on her every once in a while. She did this, I think, until about five in the morning, and then she took a nap, which I've read is pretty textbook. They sleep hard for about three hours before labor starts. And checked on her a couple times, and then in the morning, about 740 I was just about to leave to take my daughter to school and I thought let me check one more time because I won't be back for about half an hour and she looked like she was resting but right as I was about to turn it off I see her actually shoot out her second piglet it was hard to tell but I looked out and I said wait something's moving I think moving is an understatement when you see how uh, wiggly these guys are. But there you see her first piglet and she raised her tail right as I was watching and she delivered her second piglet right here. There you go. So I went out and checked on her, and honestly, in hindsight, I don't know if I should have just left her alone. Um, 
I took a lot of precautions with this litter because they weren't really able to stand up and walk. And <clears throat> she was really careful with them, but she would stand up and they would go under her and then she would plop down. And I'd pull them out at the last second right before she dropped down. Now she stopped doing that, but she did it in the first day. So I confined them and I gave her some space so she could labor on her own and gave them some heat. I thought maybe they were just shaking because they were cold. Um, and so I heated them up really well. This one here actually I thought was stillbirth because I came back in later and it was unfortunately dead. Um, but I see on the video that it was born with life. So I was very disappointed and I, I stayed a little bit closer. So she had seven, she had 10, three were stillborn and seven were born. One, one rent that I'm holding here trying to latch on. Um, so I tried to make sure that each one had colostrum. I may have been a little, um, I see my videos are out of order. It's not very professional, but um, I made sure that they all had colostrum and I really did try to leave them alone a lot. This was my first set of piglets and I wasn't sure what was going on. I sent the video to a friend and she said, oh, that's totally normal. Um, it just didn't seem normal. So I called the vet I actually had the vet come out right in the middle of this. She didn't come in to the hut, but she stood at the fence line and I brought the piglets out to her like this. Um, she said she would do a little bit of research and get back to me and ultimately the, the signs all point to congenital tremors, but there's a lot of causes two congenital tremors we probably won't know it doesn't look like they latch on very well and in the beginning they did struggle but they got to be really good at it my temporary fix so i could go shower was to separate them from mom, which she didn't seem to mind because she fell asleep. I think I'm going to modify in here so that I put another piece of wood on the bottom and then I will separate them and come out here every hour or so to have them nurse until they're a little bit stronger. I have the time, so I might as well. They're not shaking as much. Someone suggested it might have been hypoglycemia, but they're still shaking. It's just not as bad. The rent is the most shaky, but not as bad. They look great. They're beautiful. I wish all 10 had survived, but oh well. I really want the runt to survive because she is the spunkiest one. Like she is the smallest, this one, but she is bully, man. She is getting her way. She is throwing her back into it, man. She's like, you're not taking my teeth. Uh-uh. I will sit on you, even though I'm half your size. So this one is much bigger and tried to take the teeth multiple times. And she's like, no, my friend, you are not. Oh, oh, watch it. Get it. Get it. Go over top of him. You got this. You got it. You got it. Get it. Nope. She's too little. She. Watch. Oh, yeah. Watch her. She's like, all right. So, I'm sorry. You lost because you're so much bigger and she's small. So I learned something, which is fascinating, that piglets pick their favorite teat and that's all they'll drink from. Which actually might make for a lot less fighting if that's true. Um, but I will say that I noticed that she's always, the only one I can tell apart right now, she's always on the same one. And I know no matter what I do, she will not take another one. But they say they make their preference by three days. 
We'll see. I should number them. 